So guys, if you're converting this image and this image to this kind of effect right here in Photoshop, so let's get started. So I'm going to close this one now. I'm going to drag this image into Photoshop real quick. And I'm going to use my crop to, to crop this. I'm going to click on OK right here. All right, so the next I'm going to do right is to uh click on ctrl j to double key to double uh duplicate this and i'm going to uh uncheck this now what i'm going to do is to drag this beneath all right and i'm going to get uh my pen to well, let me enlarge this so that i have a closer look of it i'm going to start from here select this part and uh just going to select something like this i'm going to so I'm going to zoom out now and just get the best out of this. I'm going to right click here, load my selection. Okay. Click on delete to delete that part. Ctrl D to deselect. Click on V on my move to select my move to. And the next thing I'm going to do is to grab my other image. I'm going to come here and just drag this into Photoshop right now. So I'm going to set this. Raise this up a little bit. So I'm going to take this down. I still have some space here. Select this and bring this down a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to select this one. So now I have some white space here. Some two white spaces here. So what I'm going to do now is make sure this is selected. I'm going to come here. I click on solid color. I'm just going to tap here like this to have this black here. Click on OK. All right, and I'm going to drag this down. Now this automatically blocks this this uh, white space just to match with it, with this color exactly. So what I'm going to do is to select this one and then I'm going to convert it to a uh, to a uh, lighter color. All right. Now after I convert it to lighter color, next I'm going to do is to uh, let me adjust the image a little bit. Okay this will do this this is okay i'm going to get get my uh my brush to and i'm going to select this soft 65 okay make sure your your opacity is a uh, hundred percent okay and uh and then apply layer max to this okay with a with, uh, with a layer max selected and make sure that this is uh black since we have white here it makes sense for us to have black here so what i'm going to do is just to just to uh, color this part so that I'll reveal the, the part of the umbrella. Just to make, make, make the umbrella visible and just hide this, this other part of the image. Just like so. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do to this here is to select this one. And I'm going to select a uh, put. I'm going to apply black and white color here. All right, and I'm going to click click on OK. So after selecting the black and white, I'll come here and put this to a uh, soft light to have something exactly like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is to come. Back, I'm going to come here again. Click on my gradient fill. Double click here. Select this one. Click this one. Okay. I will add double. I'm going to delete this one. So I just need to click here. I'm going to double click here. I'm going to select this to black. Okay. I'm going to put this to also black. Okay. And I'm going to click on okay. I'm going to click on okay too. So what I'm going to do here is to convert this to radia. And this to be 300. Okay. This to be reverse. I'm going to click on okay. And that's it. So this is where we'll be stopping for this tutorial. Very, this is a very fast and easy tutorial. Hope you enjoy it. If you have anything to uh to say kind of tutorial, please feel free to like. <laughs>